Now what if, just suppose, you could have a free evolution sand scoop or a spade or something like that. In fact, anything you like, free of charge in six days time. Would you be interested? Of course you would! Morning. We're at Primrose Valley Holiday Park. <laughs> She's waving automatically now. <laughs> yeah, you've got some fans watching this, you know. Have I? Yeah, you've got oh, loads of fans. You always I've get lots of. I've had a fan before. Haven't you? No, oh. not. Um, so we're, we're doing a little bit of a video on wombling. My aim is to make £100 and see how long it takes me. It shouldn't take too long, but it should also show you how I do it. Uh, I always walk along this hedgerow. We're walking along now. You can see behind me, I'm walking along a hedgerow because when the wind blows here and it can blow quite hard, you can often find money, cash, paper money, in the hedgerow. We walked it and you said, always walk here looking for money because you might find a five pound note. So the next day I did exactly that and right at the end, I found a five pound note. Yeah, fantastic. <laughs> well, we're doing it again this morning, but there's not much here. As I said, the real reason for telling you all this is because I'm going to do a video on wombling. I'm going to buy a piece of equipment for my metal detecting and I want to pay for it totally from wombling. And the secret to wombling of any sort is to look for wind trap corners. The wind goes that way and there's the wind trap hedgerow with a fence, wire fence. And if there's any cash that people have lost, they're going to be in the bottom here somewhere like this lot here. It would be funny if we found a five pound note now. <laughs> So really it's a case of just keeping your eyes open and seeing the things that other people don't see. That's what a wombler is, picking up things that other people have left behind and making good use of them. Right, I've arrived at Asda. It's not terribly windy and it hasn't been that windy for a few days. But I'm going to see if I can find any receipts in the windy corners. Off we go. One of the usual places is underneath the trolleys, or at least just on the other side. There's one. Yep, that'll do. And there's another one. So that's two. There's another one. Now just check that one. Uh, yep, you can read the barcode quite easily. Uh, here's a receipt I found discarded left in the trolley, in the trolley bay. Uh, there's a receipt under the bush. Oh yes, that's a nice one too. £4.78 and there we've still got these to check. They need to be at least a three hours old the receipt before you can check them. So £4.78 so far. A few more to check when the three hours is up. Let's see how long it takes me to get to the hundred quid. This is that, so in that corner having a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> that shopping was cheap at Morrison's. So to be 10% cheaper than the Morrison's it had to give me £1.57 in a voucher. Now with that shopping receipt, it was actually cheaper at all the other four supermarkets. So to make sure it was 10% cheaper, they've given me a voucher for £2.21. This shopping was cheaper at Tesco's and Sainsbury's. So the guarantee, 10% cheaper than those, 59 pence. Not a lot, but every little helps. But in this occasion it was Tesco and Waitrose, which were cheaper. So they've given me 83p. And this receipt as well, although it's dated the 30th of August, you've got 30 days to find them and to match up the barcode on the um, Asda Price Guarantee website. But 58 pence. This time it was Tesco and Sainsbury's again. And don't worry about the condition of the receipt. But believe me, I've put in a lot worse than that. Mrs. Hat told me I'm getting too fat. She's been telling me for six months keeps trying to stop me having my cake breaks when I'm digging. So I'm currently walking to a windy corner where I'm hoping to pick up some Asda receipts. Now my local store, which is here in Keithley, isn't one of the best stores for wombling, but it can suddenly turn to be a brilliant store 
if we get some really good wins, which I believe are coming in the near future. After day one and day two, £22.64. I won't bother again this morning. I didn't find many receipts in the end, unfortunately. It came to £14.90. So the total wombled amount of money in three days is £37.54, including one as the price guarantee price match for £7.30. I've come back to this wind trap corner because the day on well, last night it's been really, really windy. So I decided I'd just give another double check to see if I can find any receipts here this morning. Yes, a £10 note wrapped in a shopping list. Woohoo! There's another receipt. This little wind trap corner, things just keep running round in circles. And now I need to check as well the um, trolley bays. Well, there's two from one lot of trolley bays. I'm just going to go check the other ones. Right, I've just been and done my shopping. I just really came here to Womble and just top up on the necessities. But if you look at this, shopping today was £9.10 pence just a few items and they paid with the APGs which they've put through as manufacturers coupons. Now you can see at the end I had a voided coupon. They took 43p off because it meant otherwise they'd have to pay me back 11 pence. Now sometimes they do pay the money back if I overpay with coupons, sometimes they say they can't there is no real hard and fast rule that all staff are, are aware of. So what they did was they took the 43 p coupon off rather than give me 11p. So then I put 50p in the slot to pay my 32p and they gave me change of 18 pence back. So in other words, I got £9.10 pence worth of shopping today for 32 pence. So this brings me to a point now which I'd like to explain to you. You're probably going to think to yourself, already perhaps thought it, well, how is he making £100 in a few days by wombling? Because, you know, you're spending the coupons. Where's the cash? Well, the whole idea is I would have spent £9.10 anyway. So what I do now, I will put my £9.10 that I've not had to spend in the store into the cash bank to see how much money I've actually got wombled. And I'll put that through to something I want to buy for £100 when I get there. So the exception to that rule this morning was I found a £10 note. So that can go straight into the cash bank as an extra tenner. Hope you understand that. Anyway, I found a few more receipts stuck to the ground because it's been raining while I've been in. Um, I didn't film them, but I've got them in the back of the car. To dry and I shall check those when I get home and see how much money we've made wombling today. Now this is not to be sniffed at. I picked this receipt up this morning from the same corner as the £10 note and checking it on the Asda price guarantee it gives me £5.55. Now as some of you I know will be wondering how I managed to get £5.55 so let's work it out. So if you look at this blue link here it says why £5.55 you just click that and it shows you in the red writing that Tesco, Sainsbury's and Morrison's were cheaper. Now bear in mind that Asda's guarantee is that they will be 10% cheaper than their competitors, Tesco, Sainsbury's or Morrison's. And if they're not, then they'll make that difference back. Not only the difference in price, but to make sure that they are 10% cheaper. You can even see how they worked it out if you wish. Just click on the Morrison's blue link or any of the other ones and it'll give you a breakdown of the shopping of what their price were compared to Asda. And that's how they work out the difference to pay you back in an Asda price guarantee voucher. So with another £9.67 this morning, I've now got a total wombling cash amount equivalent of £64.78. 
I went out yesterday, which was Sunday, because all the shops close early on a Sunday, and it's a good chance you can get there before the litter pickers can. I always do Sundays if I ever can, but yesterday was a particularly good day. I managed to get all these, and I've checked them all, and I've got 37 quid. That's not much. I know people who get a lot more than that, well over 100 quid on the Sunday. But my story isn't as good as theirs. You know who I'm talking about, Heather, up there in Scotland, huh? huh? Anyway, look, there is something I want to tell you about how seriously some people do take this hobby. It was two years ago this month, so it's October 2015. One of my metal detecting subscribers of my channel decided, what's well, so this wandering lark about then? I'll, I'll give it a go. Several people did, but this one I'm picking out because he did something amazing. He decided he would give it a go up to the new year. So it's October, November, December. In three months of wombling, he made enough savings against his cash transactions at shopping. He put the money aside, because he would have spent it anyway on his shopping, but the money he didn't spend, he put aside in a jar, and in January, he bought himself a MindLab CTX. Can you believe that? A MindLab CTX? What do they cost? Anyway, this brings me to a point. Yesterday... I went wombling and got all these, £37 something or other. I must check and see how close I am now to that £100. I think I might have done it. I also got a £5 note and a five kilo bag of potatoes left in a trolley. A five kilo bag of potatoes? Who the hell would leave a five kilo bag of potatoes in a trolley? How can you miss that? I once found a bottle of gin. Gordon's gin, I think it was, and very nice it was too. Anyway, I'm just going to total up now and see how much money I've got. I may have that hundred quid. <laughs> and then I can go and get the sand scoop from Pocklington Evolution. Can't wait. Let's give it a go. Let's have a count. <laughs> All these local on site? I make them all myself, yeah. At yeah. Home. That's brilliant. Me, me and my colleagues. So that is the Pro. So the biggest one is your Pro, which we call like that's everything. Dig so everything, rocks, stones, yeah. and everything else, yeah. yeah. Everything. And that's your, that's your um, Type R, which is same again. It's ever so slightly lighter than that, which is about 15% smaller. Right, so, and that one is the one I'm getting, yeah? The, the bottom one is your 360, which is the one we sell most of. The reason being, it's light. Yeah. It's robust. Oh yeah, yeah. And that will do everything as well, but not so good as winkling in between the rocks. Yeah. So if you're if you're going in waist deep, normally that wouldn't be rocky. It'd be in wet sand, stuff like that. Okay. So that would be ideal cool. for you. Right. So Paul has suggested that I have this one, which is called the 360 and uh, that's really best for sand and if you're going to use stones and rocks and things you'll really need the pro up there which is much heavier so if you're actually in the water he's told me it's not going to feel too heavy at all but if you're dragging it around on the beach you're certainly going to feel the weight of that i'm going to get the d handle because that's what i fancy um and i'm going to put these two together now and make a purchase i think well that's simple so, that is excellent. And for filming underwater as well, a little uh, like GoPro thing. You can put it on the shaft, yeah. Just strapped to yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, put it straight under. Oh. So you, I, you wouldn't mind if I was to do a, a sail or two and you did a drop ship? Yeah, no, we can do that, yeah. Okay, I might just stick this on my um, website right. then. So where did the name Evolution originate? Um, I um, have had and worked on Mitsubishi Evolutions cars. Race cars. Oh, right. So when we came to this, Evolution kept, came to mind. So right. where's that green go? Right, so the green goes that way at the back. So I'm going to give you a bit of this. When you come out of the sea, just you choose that. Clean, yeah. yeah, just with some fresh water. Or when you get home, just get it in the sink, fresh water. 
and you keep with the grain. The grain goes that way on that one, yeah. and it goes around on that one. That makes sense. You shouldn't have to do a lot, just get rid of any of that build up and stuff. Okay, lovely job. Learn for you. And how much do I owe you for a collection? Straight hundred. A straight ton. That's a bargain. Absolutely. So well, Paul, I'm really glad that Mark actually told me where you were. Right. Because uh, I've been thinking of big detective. I'm not very good at it because I never find anything. That's why I'm getting a specialist hey. PI made. Yeah, that's you know, what you want. To go with chest and a waist Yeah, in. yeah, okay. That's where you need to be. Up there. Mate, okay, well, I'll just hey, say cheerio. And no problem, yeah, well, like, like I say, just see how we get on. Yeah. No problems, you know where we are. Yeah, thank you very much, yeah. Paul. Go find some blue. Yeah. <laughs> see ya. Well, I'm a happy chappy. Getting into some serious bigs detecting now. I'll see you on the beach. Stephen is the man with the hat and a wumbling eye. Oh, oh, looking for receipts and treasures to find. Oh, oh, he wobbles in the morning, he wobbles at night, finding value in the things that others leave behind. New videos every week, so please subscribe.